All right, so from this video onwards, we are going to build our CRUD application and we are going to start by creating a model and all the necessary parts that we need for our backend application, which is Laravel. And then we go through the actions, which is creating, reading, updating and deleting a model or a resource. So let's start by creating our model and let's go to terminal and type php artisan make model and let's give it a name i'm going to call it post and also i'm going to use the a flag that would create all the necessary parts that i would need for this model so if we press enter we get all these statements that shows a model a factory a migration and all these parts were built for us and we just have to use it now. So if we go back to our projects now, under app models, we have our post model. So since I want to keep this project very simple, we are just going to have one column for our post model or our posts table. So we need to create our fillable array and we can go to the user model and just copy this array from the users and then paste it here. So this is where you would define the fields that your posts table would need. And you want to fill those fields through a form or some other source. So all we need for our post model is just a body. That's the first step. Next, we want to go to our database folder, then migrations, and then the last document, which is our create posts table. We have an up method and a down method. The up method would create a post table in our database and the down method will drop that. So this is our table schema and we want to say that we need a column with the name body. So let's grab the table instance and set the type. I'm going to use text, give it a name of body. And that's the second step to create our table schema. Now at the moment, if we open our database, we don't have that table. So we want to run our migrations to add this posts table to our database. Let's go back to our terminal and just run PHP artisan migrate. So this will create a posts table for us. And if we check our database, this is our table. So we have an ID, the body and two columns for the date and i'm going through all of this kind of fast because we covered all of this in the laravel series and there is nothing about inertia or react at the moment we are just working with laravel all right next we want to create our routes so we can render our posts on the first page so if we go back to the app directory under http controllers we have a post controller so all of these documents were created when we used an A flag to create our model. You notice down here we have our controller was created which is a resource controller. Now a resource controller is basically just a normal controller but it has all the methods that a CRUD application would need. So the index method would show the listings, the create method would show the form to create a post and the store would save it and so on. So the name of these functions are important because Laravel would look for these names and it would associate these functions to a specific route. Now at the moment, if we go back to our terminal and just list our routes using PHP artisan route list, we have only one route for our homepage. And of course, if we go to our web.php, this is our route. Now we want to use our resource controller instead of this home page. I'm going to delete this whole thing and use the route facade and then use the resource method on that, which would take the name first. So I'm going to call it post. And the second argument, it's going to be the controller. So we want to pass our post controller here and make sure you pass the proper class like this. Now, just by doing this line right here, if we go back to the terminal, and list our routes one more time, you notice we have all these routes added for us. So we have forward slash post that is associated with the index method of our post controller. And this is the name of the route. So Laravel would automatically create all these routes and associate them with the right method so we can use them later on in our application. But we have a tiny problem here and that is our homepage is now forward slash post. So if we go back to our website, we don't have a homepage. And if we go to forward slash post, you notice we get a blank page, but we don't get an error. So we have a page. We are just not rendering anything. And I want to change this name to posts instead of post. It would make more sense, especially in our routes, if I list them again. So we have forward slash posts and then the ID of a post. So these are the dynamic routes, which is used for update or delete or edit or so on. So now, of course, if we go to forward slash posts, we get that blank page. So first, let's render our home page. So we don't have that blank page. Let's go to our post controller and we know the index method is in charge of rendering our home page. So let's return our inertia view here instead of returning it in the web.php. So we just want to do the same thing here and return an inertia view. 
So now if we go back to our website, give it a refresh, we get our page back. So to fix the problem with the URL, we can go back to the web.php and we can chain the accept method. This method is used to exclude a method from the resource controller. And the method we want to exclude is the index method. So we are just saying create a route for all the methods in the post controller except the index method. And now if we go back to the terminal and list all the routes, you notice we don't have a home page. So we have this forward slash posts, but that is a post method that is used to store a resource in our database. So we don't have a home page. So we can create that by ourselves up here. So we just want to say we want a get route that is going to go to the forward slash and we are going to use our post controller here and use the index method to render our home page. Now we could also name this home page, but I don't think it's necessary since we are not using named routes. So now if we go back to our website and go to forward slash, we get our page back. So I think this makes more sense. We have our home page and we will render all the posts on the home page. But when we want to make a specific actions like deleting, updating, or creating, we would use our resource controller routes. So in this video, all we did was preparing our model and resource controller. So, so it was all about Laravel. Now in the next video, we want to start by listing posts. So we will seed our database with some dummy data and we will show them on the homepage. So let's do that next.